Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Young Sage here for another competition in Grand Turismo Sport. We have the brand new 2019 Toyota Supra. Actually, as a matter of fact, it's the first time I'm driving it, too, because I have not driven this car yet. And it's going to compete against the old Supra. I know what you guys are thinking. <laughs> not that Supra. You'll see and you'll see when we're done. I know you guys probably already have this in mind what 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 I'm doing here, but let's go to That's a good wood. running sports sports medium tires on both cars to make it that make at least that even unlike the last video we're gonna actually have this one have the benchmark start first I don't know the layout of Goodwood, so you're gonna have to give me a few laps here to get get, get adjusted. Oh shit! Soft pot for lovely. Because this is a BMW, technically, it does have a eight-speed automatic, which we will not be even dipping into seventh gear. I don't think. I'm taking this first lap as to learn the car and the track. So. As we did with the Toyota and the Ford at Sardinia. We're gonna take at least at least one lap on each car just to see what they do. This is more of a track learning and car learning experience though. Five six. I learned I can go a little bit faster through some of these sections, so we will do that. slow down for. I really shouldn't have had to right there. Ooh, these bricks are touchy. Oh my god. We are quite a bit faster here. I don't trust this track. It feels old.
Very much like an Atlanta. Okay, so our time to be is a 137.9. First, let's go get the other Supra. First, let's actually see what kind of a present they give us. Now, I always close my I don't even want to know what's available. So then it's like I don't even know what I could possibly get. Oh, come on! Really, bro? Waste. Let's get rid of that really quick. If you guys saw the last video, you knew, you would know we played with that. So. Let's get rid of this. I have a lot of plans coming up for this. Let's head over to Toyota. And let me show you guys what we have in store. I know you guys probably already see it. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. My favorite Supra. Sorry, people. I know everybody's unsubscribing right now. You know what? I might make a challenge then. Can the old Supra, the newer than this one Supra, beat this Supra when we when we make it beat the new Supra? Like with all the mods and stuff, can the old Supra beat it? Okay, so let's go back into there. Go back into the garage. Let's have a look at our old, at our new Supra. 335 horsepower. It's about 300, so actually this might be close. So we're not going to actually do any mods yet. Let's head right back into Goodwood. And let's go. Let's it go. You know what? I actually think I have hopes for this, actually doing it without too many mods. I actually think, depending on how close the times are, we just might be able to do this. This car might drive better. So we need to be at 137.9. That wasn't even the cleanest lap I could muster. Ooh, Nikes. I didn't do my tires or my trash control because it's Grand Turismo. They ought to make up a trash control in every car. Yep, so 1, 1 p.m. game time. These are both N300, so that's why I'm thinking if these could, this could be a more of a matchup, so it's just a challenge. That turbo boost gauge actually works. I'm a little bit enamored with it. I have a thing for 80s cars. I'm sorry, guys. I know you guys all wanted to see me take take the take the Mark take the Mark V Supra. Whatever the heck they call that one. I'm not really up to date on my Supras. I just know I love this one. <laughs> okay, so this first lap is just gonna be feeling out the car.
Of course, you got your blinkers. I forgot to show those in the, in the new Supra. I will do that. I'll see if I can do that net for you next. So what we're gonna do then, see if we can beat this time, like if we have to upgrade the car, see if we can re-upgrade the other Supra and make it better. Actually, you know what? I got a better plan. Let's get that third Supra. Yes, and see if that can be the king. Yeah, 143 flat. I can do better, I know that. There's a little quick look at the blinkers outside. Grass cutting, we're okay. Before I post this video, I'm gonna have to look up the super generations properly so I can put it in the title as to what is what. I know all the super haters are going to be in the comments if I don't do it right. All the super lovers are going to be in the comments. Yeah, you got it wrong. Well, we are a hell of a lot quicker. 138.7. I'm actually going to go one more lap, see if I can do better. So I think we might be able to beat the new Supra out of the gate without upgrades. Using my other lap for reference, I think we can actually do better. I think we can. I'm pushing a little bit. Oh yeah, we can definitely go faster. That other Supra felt like a mess. This feels like a proper Grand Touring sports car. Like, it's not hard to handle, but it's still fast. Rest a little bit of time there. Still be okay, because we're still, we're still going to be in the green. Says we're in the red, but we're still faster than our old time. That's all I care about. I think we've done it. I think we did it. 135.9. I'm actually impressed. We did it! We beat the soup we beat the new Supra on our first attempt. No upgrades. But you know what that means? The old Supra's gotta claim its crown back. I'm gonna do something a little cheaty. I know it's not super fair, but you know what? Let's get the other Supra and see if it can beat the new Supra too. I'll I'll please everyone. Well, there's something else we can do. 
That would be cheating, though. <laughs> that better be a street supra. If it doesn't, well, we got problems. Just to match the other ones, it'll be in black. Okay, now I know for a fact that we can probably be close, but how much better will this be than the old Supra? We're going to find out. So let's go. It actually makes a lot more horsepower than the old Supra, and it's lighter. So, my question is, will this car be both Supras, or where will it land? Will it be the worst, will it be the best, or will it be the middle car? Now, this is going to be coming along a lot, lot to my driving skill, too. I'll show you guys the blinkers before we get too far. And what they look like inside? Like I said, no in our, in our first challenge, that the blinkers actually have a purpose. I mean, they don't have a purpose, but it makes it work. I mean, GTA, you have to do, in order to do that, you need to use mods on PC. And you can't even do it normally. I cannot think of another game that actually has working blinkers on the on on a console. This is only a warm up lap. I don't know if that matters, but I try to clean the tires off a little bit. I think this might be beyond my driving skill to be able to make this as fast as, you, as that original Supra. The handling on that car was just so nice. This feels a lot like the new Supra. A boisterous little toddler. Oh, that, uh, well, the other, well, the other car was more of a gentleman, a 141.7. I, I know we can do better. Like that, we won't be okay. Even if we do beat the time, I don't care because that was terrible. I know I can do that, but that first corner way better. car is just begging for grip. We're already five, six seconds ahead of our old time. So I mean, we're probably gonna smoke both supers with this car, even if I don't do perfect. Wow, 
133.3. Oh my god. So long, Supras. How much better can it get? I know that first corner is hard for me to get. So. Okay, so you know what that means then. The new Supra has to reclaim the crown. It has to. Even though we have ABS, the cars break. Both the new Supra and this Supra, the brakes lock up. Pretty damn easily, might I add. Oh boy. Oh boy. We're going slow. We had that brake lock up. Ooh, we pushed way too hard. One thirty two eight dead. So that means the old, the new Supra has to, has to reclaim its crown. Which I think if I take more care in driving it, I might be able to do it. <laughs> but wow, I can't believe we smoked both Supras on that first lap. Holy God. Yeah, that happened. That actually happened, and I am still blown away by the fact that it did. Let's get the new Supra back out. Which I really need to do it that way, I just wasted time. But, I think if I'm more careful, I think the new Super should be the fastest one. Now I know the track really good, so it shouldn't be too hard for me to actually get this right. So mind you, that was the first time I actually driven Goodwood. And then we can show the blinkers. Look, you can get on the power in this thing and it's like gone. A little bit the blinkers, because I forgot to show them. So not only plan to get heat in these tires. See, I can't drive this car as hard. It's just it's a lot slippery, a lot more slippery. I can't drive it as hard, I just can't. You guys saw that. Steering inputs are pretty similar to the other two Supras. It just, it doesn't like it. Steering and throttle inputs are very, very similar to the other two cars. This is like the last BMW race car I drove, let's be honest. Oh, this is looking good. 
135 on my first lap out. Same thing I did with the 97. So faster though, because I didn't do that silly braking as, as, as much. Might be able to beat that Supra. That was just bad driving. So that means the 80 Supra has to be faster. It has to beat both of its newer brothers. That has to be the one. Very slippery. Very, very slippery. I'm on medium tires like the other two cars. We did a 132.7. You know what? I'm feeling good about that lap. Ha! Best time! That means the old Supra has more work to do. And that's gonna be the car that's gonna get upgraded. Wow, I cannot believe I actually managed that lap. When I couldn't do jack in that car the first time, this time, I demolished the old, the, 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 the this car. This car has work to do. Okay. Let's start by doing this. Let's see what that brings us to. Now it's at the 400. You know what? I'm going to make it more on par with the other car, though. So it's about 365-ish. I'm gonna check the weight too. Weight's a lot less too, so we're gonna increase that weight a little bit. So that means now this is closer to the other two Supras. It's still a little too powerful, though. Remember, this car started up with 200 horsepower, so. Three through five, maybe? That's actually on par with the brand new Supra. It's a 100 pounds heavier, so I'm gonna actually make it a little bit lighter. Now it's 100 pounds lighter. Ah. Let's see if we can get a little closer. Because that means now these cars are about even. 3508. No, it's 3351. It's a little heavier, but I'd rather be a little heavier than a lot lighter. Okay, so that's about on par with the with the other super now. And it's not higher level, so It's 
Especially if this car, plus, well, we're gonna get delivery because why the piss not? Wait. Doing everything wrong. I like that Gatorade one. So now it's even faster. Because Gatorade, is it in you? Supra, is it? Is it in you, Gator? Is it in you, Supra? Is it? Can you beat your brothers? I think you can. This is a real race car because it sort of looks convincing. Okay, now that this is on par with the other two cars, it should do just as well, I would hope. Oh, it's definitely faster. Oh my god, it's fast. For what this car was before, this thing is fast now. Again, first lap is just to figure out the car and the track. Which we don't need to worry about the track, we know where we're going. But I think we might be able to set a fast lap right off the bat because of the track. This car is not that much different the other two supers now. It drives pretty similar actually as a matter of fact I think it drives better than those two cars. It's not as slippery. It's still a little heavier. That turbo whistle. I can listen to that all day. Oh my god, it even has flutter. It's very, very faint, but there's turbo whistle and turbo flutter. So, 80s. Ooh, we got loose out of there. Thirty-five six on our outlap. Oh God! Just for it to be a little bit faster, though. If you no, it's probably not. See you later. See you later, buddy. I think there's too many places we can actually improve on our lap. The car will hold that. I think it's may actually have wider tires than the other two cars. It's holding grip more better than I expected it to, that's for sure. Let's see where I can push. You know, 
I find it interesting though, you might have noticed this in yesterday's video too. Ghost cars do not keep the livery that you put on your car. They go back to whatever color it was originally painted when you bought it. One thirty three five four. We're not going to beat it. That's what we're going to do every time. We're not going to max out the car like we did to the Toyota. I was actually the only Toyota could beat the Ford. I mean, I don't really want to have to take the track that way, but I mean, that might be how we have to do it. Right, come on, little Supra. Drifting, drifting. I just cut close to the apex as wherever I can. can break a little bit later, but this car is just heavy. You can feel the weight of this car too. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be able to do it. One thirty-three four. Do we go faster? Because this is only better than itself. This is still the worst Supra. So we're going to have to make this thing even more powerful. Not like that, we don't have to. It's less than the weight down to as far as it goes. And we're going to make it have 300. Where were we at? 335, so we're going to go up to 365. Give it an extra 30 horsepower, and then we make it as light as possible. We're still not going crazy, so... Oh my god, we're way faster than, the, than when we were. Ooh, a lesser weight. You can, you can definitely feel it. Car wants to pull more now. It doesn't have the grip. I want to put some of that weight back in it. Just a little bit. cold too but I mean I'm saying like even on the first lap of, the, of e even every other, every other time we drove this car it was not like this and it's such a dramatic change from stock and even so from where it was when we just drove it we can't break as early, as late we got to break earlier Can't take that as fast. We 
We don't have the handling that we did originally. That's what made this car so good for me. It's a handle better than the other two Supras. so loose now. I don't think we're going to be able to do this. We go stupid crazy, and I don't think that's going to happen. I can barely drive his car now. faster but not really all that better. Somebody is still showing your ghost. Try to hold that. slip here. Two one seven. I think I might be a little bit faster. So can can the can the eighty eight super beat the other beat its two younger brothers? Yes, it can. <laughs> Just barely. <laughs> so that was fun. Anyways, guys, I hope you have enjoyed that. I'm going to bring you guys more challenges when I when I think of them. And of course, if you guys have any suggestions for a challenge and within think of, within reasonable money, let me know. I'm popping bubble wrap. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.